Hey everyone, Tokyo Revengers Black Air Force Energy, the anime 2. Have you guys seen it? Because we haven't. So they say, you know, a scooter rolls, bro. So they all just started blasting. I'm excited for this. Smiling. And Hobie right here just wants to smoke. Look at dude with the mask, bro. This nigga said, fuck a pandemic. I'm beating your ass. <laughs> and both these dudes tried to team up on him, but he, he just nonchalantly just... <laughs> Yo, this show is just brawl after, brawl after brawl. Yeah. Curious what crazy stuff <laughs> Because, like, last episode was just Exhibit A. Yeah, I know. This is Exhibit B. I know. And they had to give it its own episode. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is oh, finally man. time for us to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And today's going to be a very, very special video because it is finally time for us to return to Tokyo Revengers. Or should I call it <clears throat> Black Air Force <laughs> Energy, the anime. <laughs> Niggas getting dropped, getting beat the fuck up, gang violence, home invasion, nigga, you name it. So last time we did Exhibit A, and that was episodes 1 through 15. A, oh, and God. I said when the season ends, I'll do Exhibit B, and then I'll add a representative to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And well, uh, it's about that time. So let me go <laughs> ahead and give that one. If you have not seen Tokyo Avengers episodes 16 through 24, you may not want to watch this video because you will be spoiled. Or, I mean, if you don't care, then strap the f***ing <laughs> in. We're about to get into this shit. I'm ready to go. <clears throat> Exhibit B. B. So last time we left off, this man Baji was beating the shit out of his vice captain. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, why are you doing this? Why are you turning your back on your own hood, bro? So apparently Kazutora has a grudge against Toman. So we get a flashback all the way to 03. So everybody's just chilling and riding their bike right. And yo, this man Mikey's just like, you know, chilling on his moped and shit like <laughs> I love how the most savage person in this show is literally just cruising on a moped right now. He, can do, he like, why are you shitting on my moped, dog? This is my street hawk, nigga. So then this other gang pulls up. They look like some whole ass grown men out here harassing middle schoolers. So this dude's like, all right, bro, I'm about to smash your little bitch made ass moped, nigga. But then Mikey gets Try it. Yeah. There, and he's like, don't mess with the moped. Take on this shit and see what happens to your ass. And he just stared down a whole ass grown man. So he backs off, but look at his head, bro. Look at his demeanor. He acting tough as shit right now, but in his mind, He's like, ah, uh, hell no. Nah. This little nigga about to burn my shit. I best could daddle. <laughs> so they dip, but they like, if we see you again, we gonna jump your ass. And then look at Baji, bro. He like, what you wanna do, y'all? Y'all wanna murder these niggas? Oh my God. So no, casual. What? And you out here talking about murdering grown ass men. So then Mikey runs out of gas. So then he's like, listen, bro, I'm trying to go to the beach. So uh, one of y'all niggas about to get to pushing and take my shit to the gas station. So Baji ends up having to push Mikey. Oh my God. Wow. This is why he's station. pissed. But he ends up running into that same gang that they saw earlier. So yeah, uh -oh. uh, he ended up getting jumped. So after that, oh no. Like, Oh. Right, we about to fuck up your moped now. But then as he's about to break it, Baji steps in and takes the hit. And he's like, y'all niggas ain't about to fuck up my nigga Mikey's moped now. So right before this man Baji's about to get jumped again, this man Mikey pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, I forgot my swim trunks. So then this dude kicks his own moped down. Then he turns oh. around and he's like, yeah, y'all niggas got some nerve fucking with my shit, huh? And then man's like, hey, wait. come on, bro, you fucked up your own Wait, 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 wait. Did he, he just, just go? Set them up did, in front of did them? Did he just go? I'll kick my own moped, and then now I'm pissed, so I'm going to take it out on you and say <laughs> you broke my moped. Yeah. That is that is next level. Some nerve with my shit, huh? And then man's like, hey, hold on, bro. You fucked up your own moped. But then Mikey just cocks his shit. Oh, my God. And this grown-ass man flying. Like, dog, imagine getting knocked out by a child. You a grown-ass man, and you got knocked out by a Kid. Nigga, you an embarrassment to your hood. Like, bro, don't ever show your face again. <laughs> but yeah, they was running grown men's fades at like the age of 12. So later on, Kazutor and Baji just riding down the street and they're like, hey, yo, we got to get Mikey a birthday present. So Kazutor suggests we should get Mikey that bike that he always wanted. So Baji's like, all right, bro, how are we going to get the bike? And Kazutor says, we're stealing it. These niggas about to rob the bike shop. And look at him, bro. It's like he's done this shit before. <laughs> this niggas only in middle school and is already an expert in breaking and entering. <laughs> look at them. They got the pliers and shit. So then they get it loose and they're like, all right, bro, let's roll this shit out. So while Kazutor goes to check the front, Baji just realizes there's a person still left in the uh -oh. shop. So he notices oh, them and he's like, hey, we getting robbed? And he got a wrench and everything. He ready to clock that shit. So while Baji's panicking, he looks at him and he realizes that he knows this person. So while they're talking, this man, uh -oh. Kazutor, comes out of nowhere and collapse his shit with the oh. He cracked him in the temple with a smile on his face. And that man is just flat out dead. And then Baji's like, ah oh, shit, we fed up. Cause the man that Kazutor just killed is Mikey's brother. No shot. 
Oh, he's trying fuck. to steal a bike for his birthday. They end up oh, breaking what? into his brother's oh, my. bike shop, trying to steal his bike that he was going to give Mikey for his birthday. Oh my God. God. Damn, bro. And man is losing it right now. He's like, it's all Mikey's fault. I need to kill Mikey. Oh, what? The what? That wasn't Wait, the answer. Why? Does that make any sense? You just clocked his brother upside the head. Basically, just killed the nigga, and you're saying it's Mikey's fault. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's a lost cause. So then they get arrested, and, and then they see Mikey. Oh my god, bro, this is just tragic. And look at him kill. Kill all oh, hell no, y'all. This nigga's bad shit crazy. What oh, the Baji fuck? didn't get locked up because Kazutora defended him. So Baji joins Valhalla and they tell Takamichi, all right, go ahead, tell that nigga Mikey this that on October 31st, we running y'all shit. So the day before the fight, Takamichi ends up running into Shifuyu, the person that Baji was beating the hell out of earlier. And he tells Takamichi that there's a reason why Baji went to Valhalla, and it's because of Kisaki. So apparently, this Steve Urkel ass nigga has been plotting the whole time because we already know in the future the reason why everything goes bad is because of this dude. So they do some investigating and they figure out that this man is running the whole show. Like y'all remember Osunai, the nigga that got knocked the fuck out by the Mikey 2000 roundhouse? Apparently Kisaki was the one who put him in power. And bruh, just look at him, bro. This nigga look dusty as fuck. How did he go from looking like this to this? So they end up For putting real? <laughs> pieces together and they figured out that Kisaki is the one that is basically leading Valhalla as well. And he's pulling the strings from both sides. Yo, this man on a Palpatine type beat. God damn. Homie is dead as leading a whole war and is basically leading both sides. So he can have power at the end of it all. Hey, hey, I mean, that's kind of smart, but uh, you ain't my nigga Palpatine, though. Hey, but you could try, you could try. So right before the fight, Takamichi goes back to the future to ask Draken some more questions. And he figures out that Mikey is supposed to be the leader of Valhalla. And the whole organization was made for him to lead. And he figures out that he has to stop Mikey from killing Kazutora because uh, Mikey's going to put that nigga six feet under. And if Mikey oh. catches a body, then everything's gonna go to shit. So now it's the day of the fight, and all these other niggas from gangs came to watch oh boy. this shit. Like it's a whole spectacle or something. Hey, hey, but I can't cap. Some of these niggas dripping, though. Look at the fit. <laughs> <laughs> this big-ass nigga right here made sure to bring snacks. Like, god damn, how many Big Macs did you get, nigga? And he got a whole nother bag. <laughs> <laughs> and this dude walks up and he's like, all right, both y'all niggas ain't shit. Just letting y'all know that right now. And I guess he's supposed to be the referee. So what is this, like the NCAA for delinquents? Is this supposed to be like a regulated fight? So then he's like, all right, y'all bring out your team captains. <laughs> Yo, they really out here like it's a whole ass game. Wow. They got flags and everything. I'm surprised they didn't bring the band to play the fight song. This is surprised they aren't first seeing a dancing song. So he's like, all right, bro, what the fuck y'all want to do? Y'all want to do a five on five or a whole ass all out brawl? Like, nigga, yo, five on five? five so we have like a whole five. ass tag team match? <laughs> then Kazutora's like, man this shit then just cracked the ref in the face oh and just punched him in the gut for good measure so then bruh's like what is all this bullshit overseeing a fight conditions what y'all niggas want to do playhouse or some shit nah nigga fuck all that bullshit we came to box out sorry asses so they say you know a scooter rolls bruh so they all just started blasting and oh boy them, they all smiling and homie right here just wants to smoke look at dude with the mask bruh this nigga said fuck a pandemic i'm beating your ass so they tried to team up on him but he, he just nonchalantly just <laughs> Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a f Ooh, and look at the little rat pay on his ass! <laughs> Still not forgetting what your little rat ass did, nigga, but hey, hey, I'll let it slide because you beating this nigga's ass. Ooh, it's your food with the nice drop kick. So while everybody's boxing, Takamichi just standing there like a dumbass, like, uh, what the f am I supposed to do? Then he ends up getting his shit rocked. So then Misu comes and saves him. He's like, hey, bro, get your head in the game or you're going to be six feet under when this shit is over. So Kazutora is coming in to swing on Mikey, but Draken stops him. And he's like, uh, 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 we're doing this JRPG style. You got to beat the sub boss before you fight the main boss. But then Hanma's lanky ass comes oh, yeah. over and boots Draken's ass like 10 feet. Like, damn, boy, you got a strong ass boy. <laughs> Size 13 having ass boy. So then Mikey and Kazutora finally face off and Kazutora is like, yeah. I've been waiting for this day, boy. I've been dreaming of this ever since I clocked your little dumbass brother upside the head. And then look at Mikey, bro. He like, all right, bro, bring it on with your little banana peel head ass. So while they're facing off, Takamichi's still over. Wow, it does look like a bunch of bananas now. He's like, hey, bro, I know you scared, but you're going to have to go some balls. So Takamichi ends up playing the nigga out. Oh, boy, rip that nigga shit. But, but, but then, but then, my nigga just started getting jumped again. Hey, hey, but at least he fighting now. So Drake is out here boxing with Mikey, bro. Ooh, he gave him that signature DBZ gut punch. Oh. But then Hanma sticks his goons on Draken. So it's not looking good for Tolman right now. Like, they're, they're outnumbered and they're getting their asses beat. And now Draken's about to get jumped. But then Takamichi comes in. What the f is my nigga doing? <laughs> oh 
I'm like, yo, what the? But oh, apparently, yeah. Bruh just gave everybody in Tomen a whole morale boost. So Draken starts stretching. He's like, I've been waiting for this day. I've been watching Naruto 24 7. I've been waiting <laughs> for the day when I can recreate Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. So yeah. Oh, starts shit. Running wild on the whole Madara type thing. Just cracking everybody. Oh, my God. Another, catching bodies on bodies on bodies. And they like, oh, hell no, nah, nigga. I didn't sign up for this. And bro, he literally laid what? everybody out. Oh, cold. shit. And look at him, bro. He's like, yeah. You next My warm up. And look at bro, he enjoying this shit. He like, yeah, baby, let's dance, nigga. Damn. Bro, he sent that oh. nigga flying at least 50 yards. Yo, what the fuck? Like, Damn, bro, I didn't know this nigga was that OP. Yo, all this man's stats are just maxed out. So then Mikey's out here chasing out Kazuto, and he's like, quit running, you banana-pilled ass bitch. But he leads him into a hole trap, and Mikey ends up getting jumped by both their captains. But it don't matter because it's still light work. Y'all niggas ain't shit. But they end up getting a hold of Mikey. And this man, Kazuto, comes from the top rope and collapses shit with that steel pipe. Ooh. Wow. Just like he did his Mikey. brother? Yeah. What a little punk. Or so we thought because my nigga still got up. And then this man, Kazuto, just starts monologuing. He says, I went to Juvie because of you. I suffered because of you. Oh, if boy. If a person kills someone, they're a bad guy. But if you kill your enemy, you're a hero. And everybody's like, what the f is this nigga Yo. on? This nigga must have snorted like two lines before the battle started. <laughs> yeah. This man Han was like, bat shit crazy, am I right? Nah, nigga, you ain't lying. <laughs> so then they hold him down and he's like, don't let him go. I'm about to beat the shit out this nigga. So he just starts hitting him with a steel Ooh. pipe over and over and over again. And everybody's like, damn, bro. You going a little too far, my nigga. And look at old dude, bro. He like, damn. That nigga really got this shit. And look at him, bro. He's like, I'm a bad so messed up. By yeah. killing my enemy. He smacks him again. Bro, bro, what the f is you on? So while Mikey's being held down, he's like, kill your enemy. Is that why you killed my brother? Bro, this man headbutts, dude. Then picks this man up with his leg. Oh, oh my god, that was like, no, no, with no, no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm waving it off. I've seen enough. Come on, insert. Yeah. Get real, get real comfortable. <laughs> what? And, what? and I could end the video right here off of just that. He made the dude up and kicked him in the face. With another <laughs> nigga on it. Dude. And it and knocked both of them out cold. Double wow. KO. Actually, triple KO because the other nigga knocked the fuck out down there, too. But then after that, Mikey's out of gas. So, bro can't even move right now. So then all of Valhalla's like, all right, bro, let's go jump this nigga. So, Takamichi's Are you serious? Of stop him, but he's going to be too late. So, right when Mikey's about to get clapped, Steve Urkel comes out of the woodworks and clots oh, homie. Oh, my he's God. Like so, Kisaki's up here trying to defend Mikey, and we all know this is bad. Homie's finally putting his plan into work. Takamichi's like, no. This can't be happening. And everybody's like, good job, Kisaki. And even Draken, bro. Oh, my God. So Takamichi's like, no, guys. This shit can't be happening. Do not believe this nigga has good intentions. But while he's standing up there, somebody's coming. And it's Baji, and he sneaks his ass. Oh. Him upside his head. And bro is just knocked out. And look at Baji, bro. He's like, after yeah. 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 Like, Fuck your face up so goddamn bad. Your mom won't even be able to recognize your little ugly ass. But then he gets thrown by Kisaki's vice commander. Kisaki's like, all right, bro. Swat that nigga dead. So Chafuyu tries to stop Baji, but uh, Baji just cracked that nigga in the skull. So then Takamichi comes in and he's like, stop this, bro. This ain't you. We know why you're doing this shit. But while Takamichi's trying to stop Baji, this man Kazuto comes out of nowhere and shanks his ass. Oh, no. And he pushed it in. Oh, my God. You rotten banana peeled ass bitch. And then he's like, die, Baji. What did he do? This is a nigga that was trying to help you. And you just stabbed him in his back. Bro, Ka Kazutori is, is a lost cause at this point. So then Takamichi just trucks him. But then this man, Baji, is still standing up like nothing Ow. happened. And look at him, bro. He's just staring down an entire army on a hill. So he puts his hair back. And he's like, bring it on, nigga. So he like I was stabbed in the spine. Shit out of everybody. It is a 52. They didn't even leave a blood mark on the back. <laughs> Dead ass laying out a entire division with just a steel pipe. And look at him, bro. He is having fun while doing this. So wow. Kisaki's like, ah, shit, bro. We gotta stop this nigga. But he ends up sneaking his guard and just holds up Kisaki in under like a minute. Damn. So while Baji's about to finish the job, my nigga bled out. 
And I oh. Dude, Dude, come bro. on. Get this nigga Kisaki. He knows he planned this shit, you conniving ass bitch. So Mikey wakes up and he sees that Baji has bled out. And bro is like mega pissed. So Mikey walks up to Draken and Hanma and he's like, the fight is already over. But Hanma's like, hey, bro, the fight ain't over yet. You ain't get to decide that shit. So Mikey looks at him. He's like, <laughs> oh my God. Sit your little lanky ass down. Then he says, there. It's over, dog, 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 bro, bro. Mikey is literally bred different. Dog literally walked up to him and said, the fight is over because he knew he was about to knock his ass out. And wow. Look at him, bro. He knocked him out so hard, his ass cheeks are spazzing. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Everybody Valhalla just splits like, bro, it is Dude. over. And I love how all this even happened is because this nigga's just instigating shit. Bro was like, yeah, Kazutoris definitely got some screws loose. I see. He brought Baji into Valhalla so he could finish him off himself. So you should beat that nigga's ass. Yo, somebody signed this man up Dude. for the Hood Olympics. So then Mikey walks up to Kazutor, and Kazutor is like, all right, let's end this. Either you die or I die. And Mikey's just looking at him like, is this nigga serious? So yeah, bro, he just started welling on that nigga. Then he kicked that nigga like 10 yards. And then bro just took top out and nigga, nigga, it's over. Oh my. Yeah, the fight. the piss out of his ass. Even the nigga that be smiling all the time is like, bro. You gon' kill that nigga. <laughs> why calls the tourist getting the absolute shit beat out of his ass? He remembers why he stabbed Baji. He got a phone call from Hanma saying that Baji was a traitor. And you know damn well, uh, the nigga that- You a phone that call? Yeah, call what the fuck? The the fight, dude? Yo, this nigga stay plotting. So then somehow this man Baji is still up and moving on his feet. So then he goes over to Kazutor the and he's like, Hey, bruh, don't blame your death on me. So he just said, fuck it and just killed himself. What? God. Bro, man actually offed himself so he wouldn't have to blame old dude for his death. Jesus Christ. So then Kazutora's dumbass walks up to him Wait. and he's like, you're next. You two can go to hell together. This man Mikey looking at his crazy ass like, shut the fuck up. So while Baji's dying, he literally just spills everything. Like, yeah, bro, that nigga Kisaki's behind everything. The man is behind the fight with Mobius. Right after Pa went to jail, he went up to Mikey to become the third division captain in exchange for getting Pa out of jail. Nigga, this some next level ass plotting. So Baji says his last words, and he's like, all right, y'all, I'm out this hoe. So, uh, that nigga Damn. Like, <laughs> Damn, dog. He didn't even betray his hood. He was a real nigga the whole time. So Mikey just loses it and just starts beating the shit out of Kazutora. So Takamichi's like, ah, shit, bro. I gotta stop this nigga because if I don't, I, the future's gonna go to crap. I tend to forget he. I know, I know. Show, and I don't know if it's because, like, we're just. Yeah, but it's like. Oh wait, didn't he go back in there's time? There's a time too? traveler and in here, like, yeah. This whole changing the future thing, but I'm just so invested in <laughs> I the know. pilot and everything. I'm just yeah. Like, there's there's a plot going on. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot there was like a love story somewhere around here. <laughs> So he obviously can't fight Mikey. So he's like, I, right, I'm gonna have to resort to one of the most overpowered techniques in anime history, used by the seventh Hokage himself, talk no jutsu. So this man tries to talk no jutsu, Mikey. But damn, why would he rock his shit like that? And he's like, move, boy, I'll kill your ass. But then this charm falls out of his pocket, and then Mikey gets hit by that flashback no jutsu. So then he's like, ah, oh, fuck it. It ain't worth it. So then the cops are coming, so everybody got to get to step. So then Kazutora is like, all right, to atone for my sins, I'm going to stay here and get locked the fuck up again. So damn, bro, this nigga literally just got out of juvie just to get locked up again. Well, uh, at least uh, he's trying to learn how to better himself this time. So uh, good luck and uh, don't drop the soap. So later on, after that whole fight went down, they end up having a whole nother meeting and Valhalla ends up merging with Tomen because uh, really. Oh, this nigga, but somehow, hmm. some way, Takamichi ends up getting promoted to first division captain. Hey, bro, even though this dude can't even throw like no hands, I gotta admit, this man got some crazy ass durability. Like, dude can take an ass whoop. So Takamichi's like, all right, let me go check out how the future is now, see if it changed a little bit. So this man goes back to the future and he spawns back into the dusty ass blockbuster. But the thing is, he ain't working there no more. That man is dripped the f out in the oh. oh. Bro, they picking up mans in the whole ass Rolls Royce and all his niggas with him too. Hey, yo, all them niggas eating. So Chifuyu and Takamichi what? want to go to this meeting. And this is where we could tell uh, some ain't right because half of these dudes ain't even the original members of Tomen. Some of them are from an ex gang called the Black Dragons. And Hanma's lanky ass is there too. And they talk because somebody is a rat. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, what the fuck is going on? So then Kisaki pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, let me take y'all back to my crib and I'm gonna give y'all a drink real quick. So they go to this dude's penthouse and then he starts talking to him. So then he says, 
what do you think about me? Around this time, 12 years ago, Baji died. And he drops it, I'm the one that planned Bloody Halloween. I formed Valhalla and made them clash with Toman. So then he's out here apologizing for everything that he did. So then he's like, have a drink, y'all. So while they toast, peep how he doesn't take one sip. Suspicious. So then he goes over to the window and starts looking out of it. And then he says, when I said I didn't think Baji would die earlier, yeah. That's a lie. I used that nigga Kazutora to kill Baji. And I'm about to finish what I started. So yeah, uh, he done laced the drinks. So then Takamichi wakes up and they are tied up and strapped down onto a chair. So then Kisaki's like, you had a nice nap, nigga? So then he's like, yeah, I know you a rat for you. You've been trying to get my ass ever since I killed Baji. So then he pulls out the Glock. He's like, Takamichi, oh why you ain't said shit? Then he pops his ass in oh, the Oh my leg. god. Damn, bro. So then he puts the Glock up in Chifuyu's head and he's like, any last Last words before I put your ass six feet under. So then Shifuyu reveals that in this timeline, Mikey disappeared and Draken was executed and Toman just went to crap. So then he says, everything's in your hands now, partner. Damn! Oh! oh popped a cap in his ass. Blew my nigga Chifuyu's brains out, dog. And then he puts the Glock up to Takamichi. Bro, this man is a madman. Look at him. He like, say something, nigga. So then he sheds a tear and he's like, see ya, my hero then. Wow, bro. That is how you do a cliffhanger. Wow. Uh, yeah. What? Wow. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this. Because damn near everybody in this show got Black Air Force energy, dog. I already added Mikey before the video even ended. <laughs> and if I add more than two, then that's not going to be enough space for all the other people that I need to add later. All right, so I've come down to it. I'm going to have two representatives from this show. Mikey, and I'm going to have to give it to Draken. Because that nigga a menace. Now, yeah, he, he took down, like, like everybody. everybody. Especially Kazutor and Baji. Because that banana-peeled ass nigga ain't even an adult yet. And he been locked up twice. So, yeah. <laughs> That was Tokyo Revengers. Hell, if they come out with season two, I might make Black Air Force Energy the anime three. Hey, but I'll be honest, I might end up reading the manga low key. But anyways, y'all take it easy and uh, I'm Damn. Out. How are you gonna ha how are you gonna leave us on a cliffhanger like that? Oh my god. That's crazy. I might actually think of the manga. Yeah? <laughs> looks really good. The show looks amazing. I mean, yeah, you do kind of forget about the whole time jumping, but that I that's not like the point. When they yeah. are they in a relationships? But just how and the, the future fighting. changes <laughs> after all the bullshit he goes through, yeah. and then it's like it <laughs> changed the way it was. It changed for the worse, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you go find that. I gotta shake that hand again. Look. <laughs> well, on Damn. that note, yeah. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. See we'll you in the next one. Yes, yeah, see ya. Bye.